Hey, thanks for stopping by. Have you got a, a GoPro Hero 9 Black that you wanted to use as a webcam and just can't get it connected? That was my situation. I purchased this GoPro about three weeks ago. And I've, I've tried a number of times to try to get it connected to my Lenovo laptop that's running a Windows 10 uh, to get it to work. And I couldn't get it done. Watched a ton of YouTube videos, just like the rest of you. Um, and finally connected all the dots and there's some things that are just not very clear on on what you need to do to get this thing to work. Once you figure it out it's easy, it works fantastic, it's a great webcam compared to the webcam I've got on my laptop but until you kind of figure out those little things that they don't tell you you're not going to get it to work. Um, so let's check it out and I'll show you what I did to make this thing work. So the first thing that you want to make sure is that your uh, GoPro 9 is set up properly so it has the ability to stream the video to your laptop. There's uh, one setting here that you've got to make sure you've got uh, properly. And so what we're going to do is we're going to swipe down and then we're going to swipe over and we're going to go to connections. And you'll notice down here under wire uh, USB connection if you select that, you have the choice of either GoPro Connect or N, excuse me, MTP. MTP is for when you want to go ahead and download or access your video and picture files from your camera. If, it's, if, if your GoPro is set to this when you try to use it as a webcam, it's not going to work. And it will tell you that you're going to have to go in and change it. So we want to make sure that we change it to GoPro Connect and uh, go back. And, and uh, that's all you have to do in your camera. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the uh, GoPro website and come here to Apps and download and install the GoPro Webcam app. On your on your computer, um, so you you should be seeing this icon when it's all done installing. One of the first things that I discovered is I typically run this uh, laptop in tablet mode. I just like the the interface better. But one of the things that you cannot see in tablet mode is your hidden icons. One of the things that's not very evident in all the different YouTube videos that I uh, watched was nobody indicated that that icon that should be associated with the GoPro webcam shows up in your hidden icons. And once I found that out and I got into my hidden icons, now I see the GoPro web out. So that was the first aha moment. I finally found um, this little icon that I'd been looking for that I'd seen in so many other uh, YouTube videos. But so if you don't see that on your taskbar anywhere, be sure you look into the hidden icons because that's where I found it for me. Once I found it in the hidden icons, um, the rest is pretty straightforward. Uh, just remember if you don't see or don't have access to your hidden icons because you're in tablet mode on a Windows 10, um, do what you've got to do to go ahead and, and get access to your hidden icons and that's where it's going to reside. Once you have your web or your uh, GoPro 9 hooked up uh, with the uh, USB-C into the USB uh, port into your computer, uh, take the battery out and go ahead and turn your camera on. Uh, you, there's no reason to have the battery in there. Matter of fact, they recommend that you take the battery out uh, to prevent it from overheating. So go ahead and remove the battery. Uh, no need for the battery. And right now, you'll notice that I don't have a GoPro icon the hidden uh, icon folder. It's not apparent. What we've got to do is we've got to go ahead and double click GoPro app and now you'll see that you have a webcam app. If you right click it and you, so, and you uh, go to show preview, you're going to find is you still don't get a preview. This is what happened to me. So it's still not working. Well, what the issue is that apparently a, a lot of us have to change our graphics processor, which is real easy to do. A lot of times if you're trying to do this like in OSB or excuse me, OBS, it will give you a green screen. So you've got to come down here, right mouse click on your webcam app, 
come down here to graphics processor and change that from NVIDIA to Intel. And just like that, now we've got a webcam that works great.